Hi everyone, it's Robin. It is Friday, it is payday, and it is the last day of January. This makes for a really, really, really happy me. Um, <clears throat> I thought that I would make a video showing my latest and um, not embarrassing, but um, I said I wasn't interested in buying any more planners and then I turned around and found another one. So apologies for not doing an, an unboxing video with you guys this week, but I really didn't know how I was going to feel about this planner and I did not want to make a big um, stink w about the planner if I ended up not liking it. So I actually received this planner um, midweek and I've moved into it. I purchased it because I have made some changes in my planner lineup and how and what I plan on carrying around with me. And I thought that I would share all of that with you along with um, along with showing you my new planner. So I, for some reason, as soon as I'm content, I look to change things up a little bit. And I was wondering about the possibility of carrying just one planner around with me. This has always been a challenge for me because I so love the Hobonichi Weeks book um, that I was unwilling to let go of that little planner, um, the Weeks, and because I was unwilling to let go of it, it always made for a dual planner carry for me because the weeks will not fit all of the things that I put in a ring planner that I'd want to have with me. And the weeks book also does not fit in any of the ringed planners that I've tried. It comes close with a um, Giulio Amica, but it does stick over the top just a bit. Um, and I really wanted one thing. I wanted to carry so desperately just one planner. So <clears throat> I have moved out of my Hobonichi Slim Apunto and no, I'm not selling it because I have no idea whether this um, plan will work for me or not. And I have moved out, believe it or not, I've moved out of my Hobonichi Weeks it's on my shelf. I'm not going to part with that either, nor am I going to um, dissect it and punch holes in it to put in a ring planner as I've done in the past because, again, I'm not sure that, that, that what I'm playing with is going to work for me. But I found some Tomoe River um, dated weekly, maybe they're undated, but they're weekly inserts um, I've ordered them from Spain from a shop called Good Expressions, and it's one that's fairly well known. Um, if you just shop, go to Etsy and Google that. I think they also have an online store that you can place orders through. So I actually, um, I actually intend to try Life Without a Hobonichi Weeks book for a while and see how that works for me. What I ended up deciding was if I was going to carry a Julio around with me in my bag as an everyday carry, I worry about my other two planners that I own that I absolutely love, my Ostrich Serpentine and my Khaki Shiny Krako. I really worry about them getting damaged from being chucked in and out of my purse and um, the potential of keys um, nicking or scarring or denting them. Um, I just love them too much to to risk getting them um, ruined by tossing them in my bag and carrying them around. And I also refuse to put my planner in a bag in my bag. Um, so I decided that I wanted to try an Epoca leather. I narrowed my choices down to um, gold, 
is what I was looking for, an all gold planner. I had initially thought that I would maybe be interested in a dark brown on the outside and gold on the inside version, but I've really, I really kind of said just gold. And then I found this planner on, Mar not Mercari, on um, Poshmark, and the seller was letting it go for a really great price for what I felt the quality of this planner was. It's got some really great texture on the outside of it. It smells wonderful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. She just must have been um, trying to de-stash really quickly and I grabbed it. It is in the color Rust and I've had something in the color Rust quite some time ago and I was not a fan. But for some reason, the texture of this and the color of this together, if this were gold, I would be like drooling all over the desk um, and the planner if it was the exact same texture as this rust one is, but in the color gold, it would be perfection. And I still am going to keep my eye out for an all gold one. And if I find one that is not in the $300 range pre-loved, I'm looking for something under $200 pre-loved <clears throat> that's not that you can't see the dot on quite yet or maybe I don't know maybe you can see the dot on the texture is really going to make the difference but it's absolutely got to be under $200 shipped um, then I may end up selling this one and um, purchasing a gold one but the more I look at this guy the more I kind of like him um yeah, I'm really not a warm tone person. I think I look at my shelf and olive green, I guess, could be a little bit on the warmer side, but it's green, so that kind of doesn't count. So I've moved into this as my um, wallet planner everything planner. And there's one redundancy in carrying things and um, I'm okay with it because of what I'm doing with the other planner and I'll show that to you too. But <clears throat> as a wallet, how I have this set up is I put my cash money in the, in the little pocket here and I'm hoping that that's not gonna drive me nuts, that tight fit. I don't have anything except for my grumpy card in my pocket here. Um, haven't figured out quite what to do here yet. I have a problem with that on every Campania model. In this pocket, I have um, a hidden, some hidden cash and all of the cards that I do not use frequently, and they just stay in there. Um, in the back, I have my most frequently used cards and my driver's license and my health insurance information. I have an erasable ink gel pen, a friction, and I think this is called the Biz, and I got it from Jet Pens. I thought I'd lost it, and I went on a really huge hunt for it the other night and found it in one of my pen buckets. So I have that, and that just fits lovely in this pen loop. I always put my pens so that the clip is on the elastic part so that you don't get the indentation on the on either of the straps. It works out really nicely. Um, I have my snail mail card on the inside here in the back, and I don't think I have anything. Oh, I have some stickers back behind um, the other secretarial. I'm going to use this big back pocket to throw my receipts from stores. I'm going to keep my shopping list, um, my grocery shopping and my errand running list for uh, the weekends on just some paper with an ollie clip so that I'm, again, preventing the zipper from making a, a mark on the leather fly leaf. And this kind of answers that right-hand page in my week's book where I kind of tend to keep my list of things that I'm that I need to do over the weekend. Um, on the inside, nothing in the setup has changed quite yet because I'm waiting for my order to come in. I made a um, I just traced. I had these letters. I think they were from a Heidi Swap um, kit that I got in um, at Joanne Fabrics many years ago. Just they were all the alphabet letters in this size in this cool font. <clears> then <throat> I painted 
the R gold and I didn't like it. So I just use it as a pattern and trace it on scrapbook paper. And I've got that hooked to there. And then everything on the inside is the same, but there is the addition. Um, this will be my kind of inbox notes and lists before things get moved elsewhere in my planner. And then my plan section will be my calendar and then my short-term projects. So I, while I'm waiting for my inserts to come, I just quickly DIY'd some weekly, um, some weekly pages that will look similar to what's coming in the mail, I hope. Um, and it's Tamoy River paper. I had in my stash some Coco Daisy um, weekly pages that I had thrown in here. And oh my gosh, you guys, the Coco Daisy things are so cute, but they're just so not me. I just can't deal with the busyness and all the colors and the cuteness of it in my planner. My cuteness is kind of my dashboards and my inserts and um, you've, you've seen that in my planners before. So um, so yeah, so I've got my calendar. I just did, I, I hope that my order is here by um, February 23rd. If not, then I'll make another page of weeks. I'm okay being patient and waiting for them. Um, I've got some vellum after that to separate the calendar from projects and then um yeah and oh I guess I yeah so there's a spot for for planning calendar wise and then planning um project short-term project current projects I should say um I've got then my long-term projects here or ongoing I've got my same section for my hobbies that includes my planners, it includes pens and inks, it includes um, art, art things and supplies, and there's a section for knitting. <clears throat> this is a new uh, dashboard. I ended up ordering a no an actual notebook with this cover on it from Zazzle, I think. I don't know, maybe that's not the right spot. It's one of those weird, it has everything printable kind of on it. Keeney Art it is the person who made this little sheep guy. And I'm just in love with this sheep. And then I have my family section with spots for me, for my husband, for my mom, and for my dogs. And those are all kind of separated, not by tabs. Oh, I guess I do have these separated by top tabs. Um, and then the last section is information and that houses my work information, some recipes um, for so that I have them when I'm out shopping. And that's the contents of my planner at this moment. Um, I don't, I know that I don't need all of the information that's in here on the go, but I really, it was breaking my heart that my medium campanias were just sitting on the shelf and the irony behind that is they're going to continue to sit on the shelf because I, I'm too frightened to throw them in my bag and carry them around with me. But <clears throat> at least I can give it a fair shot to see if doing this one planner thing is going to work for me and if I can actually live without my Hobonichi weeks. And if not, then I'll be moving back into my Slim Apunto and going back to my previous carry system. Um, the one exception to a one notebook carry will be the little, um, sorry, I'm reaching into my bag on the side, I didn't have him out, will be my little small notebook. Um, and the reason that I'm okay with that is this guy may or may not move from my work bag to my um, pocketbook. Um, on weekends and then back to my work bag. I'm carrying this with me so that I have something for my personal carry or, or to write personal notes or have personal information and phone numbers or whatever I'm doing that involves my mom. I'll have it with me at work <clears throat> without having to bring my wallet with me to work. I work in a public school and I do have an office that I can lock, but I just don't like the idea of having all my credit cards and all of my personal information at school. So generally I'll throw a five or a $10 bill in here, or a couple of ones and have some cash with me. And that's really all I ever take to work is a notebook and a few 
just a little cash. So that is it. If I carry two things, it will be these two things. And I'm hoping, because this is redundant, having this notebook here and the note pages here, that having this will be it. That'll be my one carry. Last week, not this past week, but the week before with my uh, white Lamy um, studio pen, I ordered this pen and something else that I'll show you, and I ordered a bottle of ink. And I may have mentioned this in my last video. I did not go back and rewatch that video before I started filming this one. But I ordered the Sailor Studio ink. This ink comes in 100 colors. And I am I was really excited about the one that I chose because of its shading property. And here is a blob of the ink um, that I did using a Q-tip. And can you see the purple with the green edges on the side? It is just glorious. And it is not shimmery. And I, I hate shimmery inks. I hate inks with a sheen. I love inks that shade. And the shading on this ink is to die for that it goes from purple to green. Even with my fine point um, Lamy pen, when I'm writing, you can just see the faint edge of green around the sides of the, um, the writing of the letters. <clears throat> it is just beautiful. And in my, in my um, writing diary, this is my, my other change for 2020, is to move out of my A5 rings every day to pull my A5 rings out of my desk and then take the pages out and write in them. I decided that I would write in um, one of the, this is one of the Hobonichi A5 cousin size um, notebooks that you can purchase. So it's got the same paper and the same grid size as that. And I thought that I would fill this notebook up with writing and then chop it and put punch rings in it and put these pages in the three ring binder. So the binder is still in use, but it's just temporarily, um, or it's my storage storage space rather than the thing that I pull out to write in. And um, I don't know, I, I didn't pre-read any of these things, but I have been writing in that, in the ink, in that ink that I ordered um, for pages and pages now because I just love it. And it just looks like a sweet, soft lavender um, with the pen. But when the writing gets a little heavier, um, when I generally uncap and start writing, you can really, in person, you can see that green around the edges. This is with a glass dip pen, and you can really, really see the green around the edges. So um, <clears throat> that was another change. But this is this is this this really shows what this ink can do. Many of the inks, as I understand in watching some videos, that um, the Sailor Ink Studio line, many of them have the shimmer. So you do have to be careful if you like that. I just always worry about it clogging pens. And it's probably nothing to worry about if you use pens frequently. But sometimes I'll put ink in them and not use them. So I just never want to have that issue with my pens. So that's that. Um, so that... These were my two last week's mail that came, and I got one more thing this week in the mail, and it was actually a fiasco because it was supposed to come on Monday, and I got a notice that there was no delivery due to animal interference for the mail carrier, and then it was supposed to come on Tuesday, and our mail generally comes sometime between 10 and noon on a weekday. And the notice was that there was a delivery attempt at 8.30 in the morning. Um, I have no idea who was bringing the package to our house at 8.30 in the morning. We've never had mail delivered that early ever. But So I had to wait till the next day and get it. And I got my fifth Lamy Safari pen. Um, there's a story behind this one. This color is um, violet purple. And I think it's from 2007 or 2008. So it's been out of circulation for a good 12 to 13 years and is very hard to find. There is one more of these on eBay right now and it's not inexpensive because it does not come with a gold nib, but because of the color and the availability, um, 
they can, I guess, ask that price. People are willing, people meaning me, are willing to willing to pay it to get the color that they want. So I'm kind of in this purple thing right now. I'm in this purple phase. But this was actually not a fountain pen. This pen has a dot on the cap. I'm hoping that you can see that, the little dot on the purple one compared to it not having a dot on the terracotta one or all of my other ones for that matter because <clears throat> it came as a, um, a rollerball pen. A rollerball? I'm not sure if it was a rollerball or what's... There are two other pen types that Lamy makes, and I don't... I've already put the ink cartridge away, but the interesting thing is that this pen end fits into the fountain pen part perfectly. Um, so I took the ink pen part out and I screwed in a fountain pen part. So I made my, <clears throat> I made my pen, my regular pen into a fountain pen. And I have the option if I want to, to put that other pen back in this one. The bad news in all of this was, this was the great news because I wanted this pen in a fountain pen and I could really care less if it has this dot on the end. Only you and anyone, if anyone else who's interested in these Lamy um, Studio pens would probably know that. But the ink cartridge for the regular pen does not fit in the fountain pen this part. I don't know what this part of the pen is called. There must be something in the end here that makes this pen just a little bit longer to fit this super hella long um, ink cartridge in this purple, but it will not fit in the, the fountain pen ones that have the dot uh, or that do not have the dot. So unfortunately, this pen has been sacrificed and is unusable um, while that's sitting in there, unless I can find an ink cartridge that will um, fit inside that pen. And I'm okay with that because even though I laughed, even though I don't know if you could get a more perfect um, companion for this rust colored Julio than this particular terracotta Lamy Studio pen. I'm still, I still reach for my gel pen when I'm writing in my inserts. So I chose to put the gel pen in here and this guy will stay on my desk. But this is just gorgeous. Yep. So no regrets on this purchase. <clears throat> no regrets on this purchase. If I had to choose between the two of these pens, I'd say that the violet is even, um, um, I like the violet more than the white because I'm not a glimmery person and this one does have some glittery glimmeries in it and this has that matte shine to it that I really, really like. Um, so yeah, so those are my shares with you. Um, I, I was... One of the viewers commented that they'd love to see how the Lamy nibs kind of interchange and see my Lamy pen collection. And I used to have a video where I did my Lamy pen collection in, but I can't remember if it's still, if you look back in my other videos, if you can find it or not. But I thought that I would do um, a Lamy pen video. So if that's not your jam and you see that up, um, just feel free to not click on me. Otherwise, so I'm I'm going to try to do that and get that video up this weekend and running. So I hope everybody has a lovely weekend. They say the sun is supposed to come out. We have had no sun shining here. It's been gray and gloomy for 10 days. And talk about your winter sun disorder, whatever we get here in Minnesota, that winter thing. Um, definitely feeling it. Everybody at work is feeling it. We're all just kind of walking around like the walking dead. Um, so fingers crossed for some sunshine, um, rest and relaxation, and I hope we'll see you guys all again soon. Bye.